I just came back from a funeral today. My friends, we who are Christians, what is our hope in the face of death? Uh, as a pastor, I have shared many times with uh, members, uh, friends, that their loved ones, those who believe in Christ, uh, are safe with Jesus and and one day we who are in Christ will see them again. This is His promise to us. This promise is also found in the Word of God and in our journey through the Psalms to find hope and encouragement from the Psalms. I, I think Psalm 16 uh, is one of the clearest uh, places uh, in the Bible that, that does talk about this hope that we have. Uh, this allow me to read for us a few verses first. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. Verses 7 to 8 of Psalm 16 uh, tell us uh, that, uh, that the presence of God uh, his, his word that instructs us, uh, the fact that, that David, the psalmist, sets the Lord always before him. Uh, he, he, he trusts in him. And because the Lord is at his right hand, is with him, he shall not be shaken. So that there's this mention of the presence of God in this life. Right? As we set the Lord uh, before us, as we forsake uh, other gods and we trust in the one true and living God but it doesn't end there in fact it goes to verse 9 and 10 that takes a step uh, into the the land of the dead verse 9 says my therefore my heart is glad and my whole being rejoices my flesh also dwells secure and now this is in this life for you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, that's the land of the dead, or let your Holy One see corruption. The confidence of the psalmist David, King David, is this, that he can rejoice, he can be glad in the land of the living. He can uh, be secure in this life because when he dies, he knows that the Lord will not abandon him. The Lord's presence will still be with him. The words, you will not let your Holy One see corruption, is a prophecy, actually, uh, about the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and uh, when Peter delivered his sermon at Pentecost, he quoted these verses to say that David died. David did die, even though he said this, that you will not let your Holy One see corruption, but that David, in faith, was also prophesying about the Messiah, about the Lord Jesus Christ, who will not see corruption, who will be raised from the dead and not to die uh, anymore. And this is fulfilled completely in Christ. But the beauty of it, the beauty of it is that because David trusted in God and in this Messiah, he himself, David, will also raise be raised from the dead because of God's promise to those who are faithful to him and who place their hope in this Messiah that they will be raised from the dead as well so the fulfillment in Christ uh, is transferred also is granted uh, to King David and one day he will rise from the dead and it's also given to us who believe in Jesus but the psalm doesn't end there. So the presence of God is, uh, is, is in, in verses 7 to 8. It's, it's found in our life, right, as we set the Lord before us. It's found even in our death, where the Lord will not abandon us, right? But in, in verse 11, David says, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And here, the presence of God in eternity future 
is pleasure. It's safety. It is the satisfaction of seeing God face to face. It is the joy of eternal fellowship and friendship with a perfect God who loved us so much He would give us His only Son for us and raise Him up from the dead so that we can be His children, His sons forever. And this is the promise that God gives to all of us who believe in Jesus. And this is our confidence in the light of funerals, in the light of death. That the Lord's presence will never be taken away from us in this life and in the life to come. He has prepared the path for us. The Lord Jesus has prepared the path for us to be with God forever and to enjoy Him forever.